Hi, this is Rachel, and I'm here today to do the reading slump tag. This is a tag that I saw over on May Between the Pages that Taylor was doing, and she always seems to pick up these really fun tags that I end up wanting to do. And she especially was, she especially said that we should all be part of this conversation because reading slumps are normal, they happen to everyone, so we shouldn't be devastated if we end up falling into one and not reading as yes yeah, so my camera paused and i'm not sure where it left off so yeah so uh taylor was saying that we should not or we should all be part of this conversation talking about reading slums and not be overly devastated when they happen um so the question number one do reading sl do reading slumps happen a lot to you and i would say yes and no I have definitely found that throughout my life, I have certain patterns, certain habits of when I want to do things. Like I know I like playing video games in December. I know I really like writing in the fall. That seems to be like my, my go-to time. In June, I always pick up my cross-stitch um, projects again. And I do more reading in the winter, it seems like. Um, I also read throughout the year, but I read more in the winter. So yes and no for the reading slumps. I think it also, it just depends what's going on. I'm also a mood reader. And so if I'm not jiving with the book, a book, the best thing for me to do I have found is actually put it down and come back to it later when I am in the mood for it versus trying to plow through and finish it. Number two, how long was your longest reading slump? I know a lot of people when they go to college, they stop reading fiction, but for me, I didn't. I found that I had to read fiction in order to write my nonfiction. Um, so like my papers and everything. Um, so I, I, I read still pretty steadily through college. I would say that probably my longest reading slump was more of a decision. Um, I served a mission for my church and when I did that, I went to another country and I didn't have a lot of reading time or I didn't have any reading time actually. And so, yeah, so that was, a, I would say probably a year and a half was the longest time I wasn't reading. And then when I finished that, I just kind of picked it up again. It, I didn't, it didn't last very long from when I came home because it's just so natural. Um, especially as you can see behind me, as I'm at my parents' house, when you have all these books in easy reach, it's not like you're not going to read. Hopefully. So number three, name one book that got you out of a reading slump. And I mentioned this in my five star Goodreads uh, for my second quarter that recently I was kind of going through a reading slump. In April, I was having a hard time uh, finishing books that I was picking up. And the one that got me out of it was Six Weeks by Mer Lafferty. For book number four, name one book that got you into a reading slump. And again, as I am a mood reader, I have found that I cannot force my way through a book. If I'm not jiving with it or not in the mood, I have to put it down and find something else to read. So there's not a specific book that I can actually think of. Because um, it can happen to even my favorite books. If I'm just not in the mood, I'm not in the mood. Uh, so number five, what other things do you do more while in a slump? And if I'm not reading as much, I'm probably watching more Netflix or TV. Um, I found with having two jobs and being a full-time student that I had to look and see what things can I cut out of my time. And reading was an, is a necessity for me. And so TV was the thing that got cut. Um, so if I'm relaxing, I'm reading, not watching TV. So yeah, so if I am not reading as much, I'm probably watching more Netflix shows. Um, number six, while in a slump, do you still watch a lot of booktube? And I'm gonna say yes for this one because I was watching a lot of booktube in April when I was having a hard time reading. As I'm still pretty new to booktube, I can't say for the whole year if that would be true in every time I have a slump, but in April, yeah, definitely. That's how it was. Number seven, give one tip to get out of a slump. Now, if you're like me and you're a mood reader, 
you're going to have to pick up a different book. Um, otherwise, well, I mean, pretty much I think that would work for anyone. Try a different book if you're in a reading slump. Try instead of reading a novel to read a short story, something that is easy to finish. And number eight, what's a good book recommendation to get out of a slump? I'm going to say again, Six Wakes by Mara Lafferty, which is what got me out of my most recent one. Thank you. This was fun. You all have a great day. Bye.